taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's the Crypto Light Saber back with another video, guys. So I'm gonna make a Zen Crypto video right now because although it is meme coin season and we've been going absolutely crazy making gains on meme coins, we can't forget about Zen because Zen is going to blow the crypto space away. In my opinion, that's what I believe, and that's why I'm still holding Zen despite any downside that we've uh, experienced. Okay, guys, if you saw my previous videos. I said that we were going to break out of this falling wedge. Okay, we actually did get the breakout. I made that video down here. We got the breakout of the falling wedge. I also said that I believe that it was going to come, potentially come down, either retest and then take off, or it could potentially come down and put in a double bottom and then potentially move to the upside. So uh, from now, it looks like it's played out just exactly as I expected it to. And now we are getting a bounce over at this support level down here let's just mark that out on the chart um hold on, hold on. let's just mark that out okay guys so we're getting a bounce off this support level okay so now the question is will this begin to recover we're putting a double bottom and we start to move to the upside if this does break through this level i see us potentially coming down further down to uh, the next support level around this area um over here let's just mark that out on the chart as well so this could potentially be the next support if we lose this area, okay? And then we see where it goes from there. Obviously, it will take uh, some time to get back above this um, as if this turns into resistance. But, you know, um, yeah, the chart is looking uh, pretty good in my opinion. It's looking like, you know, we've held through the worst of it at the moment. But, um, yeah, we're getting a bounce. But, um, you know, do we begin to reclaim this area and build some momentum in this area? Okay, guys, um, really, the whole market is down. If we get crypto bubbles, apart from obviously mean coins, right? The whole market is down, as you can see. All right. So it's not out of the ordinary that Zen might be going down. Okay. Unless you're a mean coin right now, you're not getting that liquidity in. Okay, guys, so I won't be too stressed about the price. And um, you have to look at the fundamentals and the long-term potential for this project. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed since uh, last week, okay, in terms of fundamentals. Nothing has changed since two weeks ago, a month ago. Zen is still the same project that it was yesterday. And just because the price is going down doesn't mean that it's, it's you know, it's dead. Okay, so I believe that this is a great long-term hold. Uh, which is why I'm holding this uh, this token and I'm minting and you know trying to you know get more Zen more free mints okay obviously the mints I made a video and the mints had stopped uh, because and and people are asking you know um, uh, it, does this mean I can't mint okay you can mint but it's going to cost you high gas fees because the gas is going through the roof right um, just because of everything that's going on in Ethereum right now okay um, so you know it doesn't change anything about zen okay and um, you can you will still be able to mint once everything calms down and um, that being said um if we go to twitter right it looks like zen is uh um doing something on the brc20 uh chain okay which is which will be building on bitcoin so we've got this i haven't even clicked on this yet i literally just saw it it was pinned 12 hours ago but we've got dgen.energy so let's click on this and see exactly what this is um the blood is life and it shall be mine um uh the blood of jesus is life <laughs> the blood of jesus is life that's what that should say um only sats in a unisat wallet will give you everlasting life okay just some nonsense okay dgen pp um but yeah um that's what that is anyway it's some kind of brc20 project um i don't buy into things like that because you know i don't i don't like the messaging behind it me being a christian and so on all right, guys, but um, yeah, I mean, yeah, Zen is still bullish, okay? Obviously, more innovation there, uh, more growth out of this project. Um, Jack had a BRC20 Spaces talk about X1. Um, six hours ago, he pinned that. Um, so that might be something you might want to tune into. I'll, I think I'm going to tune into that once we get off this video, have a listen to that. But um, yeah, in a nutshell, Zen is holding up pretty well. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing right now. And, um, you know, when the liquidity starts flowing back into the altcoins, um, perhaps we see a another move to the upside. Okay, guys. And, um, you know, go on YouTube, Twitter. A lot of people are still bullish on Zen. And um, I don't expect that to change anytime soon. We are in the early days of Zen. Zen is only at 
a 34 million market cap, guys. With something like Pepe going all the way to a billion, 1.6 billion market cap, you know, what are the chances that Zen could do that? I believe that is a high probability, maybe not overnight because there's not the hype there, the meme coin hype and retail rushing in, okay, guys? But, you know, um, yeah, I, I think, you know, over the long term, um, we, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. And it's not financial advice. It's just speculation. That is the end of the video, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tick the little bell for notifications. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're still bullish on Zen. And I'll see you in the next video.